Jay Karnamayal. We welcome you all and uh, we have uh, Amma Sri Karnamayi wishing us and uh, having a beautiful uh, fire ceremony happening here. And uh, we have been blessed to have Amma for the last three days. And we did a wonderful individual blessing and we did a meditation retreat. And now we are having this beautiful Homa uh, with Amma. Jai Karnamai. Namaste. My name is Lambodara Das, and I first encountered Sri Karunamai Ama in the early 90s in California, in the Santa Barbara area. I started to follow Ama because Ama was my connection to the divine in its feminine form. I've been on the Dharmic path for some 50 years, but never had a connection to the feminine divine energy. And my connection with Ama was able to connect me with that. I appreciate Amma's message of peace. She's always encouraged me on my individual blessings, and I'm grateful for the guidance that she has given me in life. Om Shanti. Jay Karunamayi, I'm Mahalakshmi. Uh, I'm a software engineer with IBM. Uh, I live in Austin, Texas. I came here to New Jersey to visit Amma and participate in her programs. Um, I've been following Amma since uh, 2016. Um, I first came to know Amma. I basically uh, got a, I saw Amma's, I got Amma's picture from a friend. And a uh, few months later, I Google searched her and I listened to her talk on YouTube. And uh, the moment I heard her talk, I was totally captivated by her amazing uh, talk, sweet voice and compassion. And uh, I wanted to meet her and ever since I'm following Amma. And uh, I've been experiencing so much joy, pleasure and uh, bliss ever since I'm with Amma. She has taught so much in terms of uh, meditation and uh, spiritual practices and more she has given so much love and uh, the motherly love you experience with Amma is unexplainable. It's Divine Mother's love and that's what keeps me going ahead and keep following Amma uh, wherever she is. Jai Karna. Namaskar, uh, my name is Leela Cleveland and I, um, I met Amma in 1999 um, in my hometown. I was in a meditation community there and already very much loving meditation and the study of um, Vedic traditions, Ayurveda and um, yoga, asana and all of these things. But um, when Amma Karunamai came to my hometown, um, she blessed me in such a way I felt that she really could see my soul and gave me such a sense of awe and also security and, and I just fell in love with her and she has been pouring wisdom on me ever since on everybody and uh, we are so thirsty for this beautiful knowledge she shares and the love she shares is continually uplifting our lives. So I'm here today to receive more blessings and hopefully take those blessings and share them with all the people that I know. <laughs> Jai Karnamai. Uh, my name is uh, Srinivas Maladi and uh, I'm a volunteer coordinator for Karna Mai uh, NJ Seva community here and uh, today there are homas that are happening today uh, there are a lot of uh, lot of homas in fact there are nine homas that are happening in and to, to begin with uh, Ganapati Homa and followed by Lakshmi Homa, Durga Homa 
a uh, lot of homas lot of other homas so there are a lot of uh, uh, devotees who are going to join us today uh, as you see we have already started uh, things around here uh, things have been set up uh, this is the main yagna yagna kunda and uh, there are other things that have been set up here for devotees to come and uh, you know uh, perform the uh, yagnas so it's going to be a, a very um, very very big and very devotional very big devotional event uh, that's that's happening in today here I'm Sunita Kanmari. I'm a physician here practicing in New Jersey. I've been in Amma for the last many, many years. And uh, Amma's divinity and love had attracted me to her. Her blessings are always, always with each and every one of you who meet her. And uh, I am very much involved with Amma's Karna Seva and I'm very impressed with the work she has done. Uh, she has worked in the villages which have been uh, visiting her ashram and uh, we do health camps, Amma does this and I try to help her there with many other physicians. Um, she usually will see 1500 to 2000 people who are taken care and provided medications and health care and it's a very very poor community and a lot of other Amma's projects involve housing projects because these people live in huts with you know and there's and during rainy season they're struggling there's no proper water and we have a lot of water projects that's going on. She has a school and these kids are amazing. Uh, many of them are doing so well and they have a very nice coordination between the children and the teachers. Uh, over here, Amma has been in her tour this time and she's made sure she has visited each and every city and met all her devotees and blessed in each and everybody. Yesterday we had the uh, Saraswati Mantra Diksha for many children here. A lot of them were challenged, but I can bet you that with her blessing, they will do very well. Yesterday, even they saw when she was inscribing um, the mantra on their uh, tongue, there was a lot of light and energy that was captured. Uh, today's Homa is very, very powerful. And as she said, um, when you sit in this Homa, it actually cleanses you at the cellular and the DNA level. And we are very happy to be here today and be blessed in her presence. Thank you.